Today's training comes from a user submitted question or one of our followers submitted a bunch of questions to me and here's one of the ones that I really wanted to address first which is his employees work very differently when he's there than when he's not there. I'm sure you can relate to this as an unfortunate truth in your restaurant. I'm going to talk about that coming up right now. Hey everybody, this is Ryan Grompenier, author, speaker, chef, restaurateur, founder of TheRestaurantBoss.com as well as ClickBacon.com and ScaleMyRestaurant.com. Now again, the user submitted this question and it's a great question. He has noticed that when he's there, his staff works a lot better than when he's not. He gets complaints from his managers and from other staff, right? When the parents are away, the children will play type thing. Now, this happens a lot and it's easy to get frustrated, it's easy to yell and scream, it's easy to talk to your staff, but for me, whenever I'm trying to find the solution to a problem, I always want to go back to why. Why is this behavior happening? A couple of reasons this behavior is happening is that you're managing people instead of a system. I often say we manage systems and develop people. I don't believe people can be managed. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, go watch any one of my 300 other videos. I probably say this in almost every video. Manage systems, develop people. I don't believe people can be managed. I'd love to argue with you about that. I'd love to engage with you in a conversation about how I don't believe people can be managed. But you might agree with me. But the problem is, if you're not going to manage people, then you have to manage systems. A lot of times though, when we manage people, we don't build systems. And when you manage people and you're not there, they will not do the work you need. So at its core, that's usually one of the first things I see is a complete lack of systems, or if systems are in place, we're not managing the systems when we're present, we're managing people. So when we're not, parents are away, children will play. They're responding to your commands, not the systems. They're, they're responding to the fear of you. They're responding to what you tell them to do instead of allowing the systems to manage them. They're fearful of you potentially. A lot of times when I see this behavior, it's based on fear. If I get caught, I'm gonna get in trouble, but since they're not here, I'm not gonna get caught. So it's also based on fear. Ultimately to me, this is a complete lack of your employees and understanding how they get paid. Now here in the United States, I know it's different all over the world, but most of our employees are paid by the hour. Some managers are paid salary, but still, you have to have an onboarding conversation with your employees and teach them what it means to earn a paycheck. Most people believe that a paycheck comes from hourly work. Even salaried employees, we see it all the time with salaried employees that to make up for their lack of effectiveness, they just put in more and more hours. But then when you get angry at them or hold them accountable to projects that weren't completed, they go back and talk to you about how many hours they're working. We have this mentality that we get paid by the hour. Well, that's how we've set up the system and that's how most people begin their work is hourly. The problem with paying by the hour is in our heads, we think, well, we showed up to work and we're working so we should get paid. When I put together onboarding programs for restaurant operators or when I'm consulting on the phone or one of the things I used to do when I was operating restaurants is sit down on day one or day two with an employee and teach them what it means to be an employee in our restaurant. Everything they've ever learned about being an employee, everything they've ever thought about being an employee, maybe this is their first job, so everything that's in their head, everything their friends have told them is wrong. I'm gonna teach you how to be an employee, how to be a good employee in our business. And one of the main core things that I discussed there is even though we may pay you per hour, ultimately, you are being paid for the value you bring to this company. You are being paid for the amount of work you can complete in that hour, not the time you're here. Sure, your paycheck will say that you worked 40 hours and here's your paycheck, but if you're not getting the amount of work done within that time that we expect, if you're not adding value to the company and increasing the value that you add to the company on a regular basis by getting better, faster, more efficient, by us training you better and you receiving that training, well then, we're just not gonna pay you anymore. We're gonna stop paying you, also known as termination. 
Now, that's not quite how harshly I do this. I do this in a much softer way, but I'm just trying to get the point across in a very short period of time for you. If you struggle from this, go back and rewatch this video one more time and think about some of the things that I said, but I would especially encourage you to have a conversation about money versus value, about how you add value to this company, then give them a list of 20 or 30 things they can do to add value, right? They're not adding value if they only work when you're there. The whole point of owning a restaurant, the whole point of owning multiple restaurants, the whole point of managing a restaurant is so that you don't have to be there every minute of every day. I believe in management. I believe the more we manage, the better our results will be. But at the end of the day, as a manager, you should be able to go in the office and do some work. You should be able to step away for a couple of hours in the middle of a shift to go do some errands with your family or things that you have to do and then come back for the busy periods and make sure that your staff is still doing the things that they're supposed to be doing when you're not there. As an owner, you should be able to take a couple of days off a week or even a couple of weeks off a year to go on vacation and know that things are gonna get done properly. Ultimately, that's gonna come down to the quality of your systems and the quality of your development of people. Manage systems, develop people. I hope today's video was helpful for you. If this topic in particular is something that you're interested in, below this video, either on YouTube or back at therestaurantboss.com on our blog, will be a link to a Facebook Live where every week we review the previous week's blog post and go into much more depth and answer questions that you guys submit. So if this particular topic is interesting to you, check out the description below and go ahead and watch that Facebook Live for a more in-depth analysis of this particular topic. I hope you have a wonderful week. I look forward to bringing you another video just like this next week. And remember that your systems equal your success. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Bye-bye. Are you struggling to grow your restaurant business? Are you failing to find the time to do all the things you need to do because you're stuck doing everybody else's jobs? This sucks. I know. I've been there. You're not alone. The difference between where you are now and where you want to be is a plan and some new tools. And that is why I created Scale. It's my newest course for restaurant owners who want to grow their businesses and build an extraordinary brand. Learn more at scalemyrestaurant.com. I hope you enjoyed this week's training video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, would you go ahead and smash the like button right up there so you can get notified every week when we release a new free training video. I've also gone ahead and put a couple of videos for you here and here that I think you're going to enjoy. Remember, systems create freedom. Freedom creates value and value creates scale. Manage systems, develop people, and be Awesome.